Welcome back guys to another video and today we'll be looking we're doing a review on the Captain America Winter Soldier. So this is a blue review slash movie review. And yeah, this is the third movie of phase two, and let's get into it. So here we have the cover. Really like this shot here of Captain America. I love this Captain America suit. It's miles better than the one that we got in Avengers 1. Also, like the background, you got the helicarrier Quinjet. Looks really cool. Some destructions. We got the, the cast here, Blu-ray 3D, plus Blu-ray, plus it's a copy. Got the side there, which is red. It's, uh, it's kind of weird that this... Now uh, this one and my Thor the Dark World Blu-ray both have this like red on the side. I, I kind of don't like that. I think red doesn't really match. But anyway, then we the back here comes. We got some uh, features from the Blu-ray discs. We got uh, a summary, some scenes from the movie, the rating. We got Bucky, our Winter Soldier. We got. I like this shot a lot. I, I don't think the shot was in the movie, but I like it a lot because it looks really cool. And we got Falcon. So yeah. Um, of course, this is the 3D version, and I'll be honest with you, I don't even have a 3D player, <laughs> so this is really useless to me. I don't even have a 3D player. The only reason why I got this, I mean, I, I wanted this movie, but, like, the reason why I got the 3D version was because it was, like, the cheapest one that came with the slipcover, and I, and I love slipcovers, and it did not come with slipcover. It promised me it did not, so I wasted more money on this. <laughs> so, yeah, um, anyway, um... Yeah, I think this Blu-ray looks really cool though, but I'm not sure how the normal Blu-ray looks. Is the normal Blu-ray just the same thing, or is or is it a little bit different? Because I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure how it looks, you know, just normal Blu-ray version. All right, now on the quick movie review. Um, I love this movie. I think this movie is super cool. I think it's awesome. It This movie really made Captain America cool. Like, I think it was good in the first one. I think Avengers 1 was probably his weakest movie. But this one really made him cool. This one made him... A, an amazing character. I think this is the movie where everyone fell in love with him. I thought he was always a good character, like I said, from the beginning. But this is when he became amazing. This is when I fell in love with him. Because, like I said, I was never a big Captain America fan. I hated him as a kid. I loved Iron Man. I still love Iron Man. He's still my favorite. But I just hated Captain America. I thought he was super boring. And now he's one of my favorite uh, uh, heroes ever. And I think this movie really helped with that. It just made him cool. I like the spy, the spy elements. I really like it. I like the... The whole story is really unique, and I like um, how we get Black Widow. We also get introduced to Falcon, even though this is I hate this Falcon suit. It looks super boring, but hey, he does get, of course, his Falcon suits do get better in the future, in the, like, especially in the shows and movies. Um, like I said, the action in this movie is really good. This probably had the best hand-to-hand -hand combat action until Shang-Chi came out. I think Shang-Chi has passed it, but I think this act the action scenes in this movie is still really good. The pacing is also really, really good. The villains are also good. Winter Soldier is really uh, intimidating in this one. Uh, like I said, I really like this movie. I think it's very enjoyable. Very, It's very good. It's awesome. So, yeah, I, I think it's a really good movie. I do have some negatives. I mean, it's not like really like problem. It's kind of like some minor problems, some like some nitpicks. But that scene where Winter Soldier uh, um, blew up uh, Nick Fury's car, that scene where, you know, Nick Fury kind of just got away just like lightsaber his way like way down i think that was pretty dumb and pretty corny that was one of the things i did not like that much and uh, that's like the thing that i that's like the only thing i can't really think about other stuff oh yeah another stuff this movie isn't the most beautiful movie to look at like some other marvel movies uh like like i don't know like thor ragnarok shang chi infinity war you know some of the other marvel movies look that looks like like that have super that look really good and really beautiful. This one doesn't really have that. It looks kind of you know generic, but that doesn't. That's like I said, that's kind of a minor problem. But if I'm thinking of minor problems, that's one of them. So yeah, but anyway, guys, I really don't have any problems with this movie. This is you should. This is uh one you should really watch. Yeah, I gave it. I gave it a nine point five out of ten. I think it's it's amazing. It's not one of my favorite Marvel movies. It I I know most of them. Most people have like top three. I have it like around like top six, somewhere around there. So I have it a little bit lower, but I still love it. This is definitely one to buy on Blu-ray and definitely one worth seeing. So anyway, guys, that is it for today, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.